that a point is moving along the curve y equals 3x minus 2x cubed in such a way that the x coordinate is increasing at 0.015 units per second. Find the rate at which the y coordinate is changing when x equals 2, stating whether the y coordinate is increasing or decreasing. So when you're given a lot of information in a question like this, start by writing down what you're actually trying to work out. So we have to find the rate at which the y coordinate is changing. That means we need to work out dy by dt. Okay, so the rate of change of y with respect to t, in this case time. Okay, so that's what we need to find. Then have a look for the information that's been given to you in the question. We're told that the x coordinate is increasing at 0.015 units per second. That means dx by dt, so the rate of change of x with respect to to t the time is 0.015 okay so that's what's been given so far we're also told that the equation of the curve is y equals 3x minus 2x cubed from that equation you can also calculate dy by dx okay we know how to differentiate we can find the derivative and work out dy by dx now you can use dx by dt and dy by dx to calculate dy by dt, and I'm going to just show you now. So to work out dy by dt, if you take dy by dx and multiply it by dx by dt, you should be able to see that when you simplify, when you multiply these fractions together, dx divided by dx is 1, and they cancel each other out to give you dy by dt, which is what you're trying to calculate, okay? So we're going to find dy by dx, use dx by dt, multiply them together, and that will give us dy by dt, which is the rate at which the y coordinate is changing, okay? So let's start with dy by dx, okay? So I'm going to write down the equation of the curve. So y is equal to 3x minus 2x cubed. And if I find the derivative, dy by dx, that's going to give me positive 3 and negative 6x squared. If you need help with derivative, derivatives, do have a look at my other lessons on my channel, okay? So there's dy by dx. That's the expression for dy by dx along the curve, except we've been given a specific point. We have to find the rate at which the y coordinate is changing when x is equal to 2. So it's important that you substitute that value of x into the expression for dy by dx. Okay, so I'm going to replace my x value with 2. And if you calculate this, you should find that it's negative 21. So that is dy by dx. Okay, so let's go back to what I wrote down earlier. Okay, we need to take dy by dx, which is negative 21. And we need to multiply that with dx by dt, which is over here, it's 0.015. Okay, and when you multiply those numbers together, you get zero, uh, minus 0 0.315. Okay, so that is dy by dt. That is the rate at which the y coordinate is changing. The last step is just to state whether the y coordinate is increasing or decreasing. So you need to look at the sign of the value. Is it positive or negative? Since it's a negative value, it means that it's decreasing. If it had been a positive value, it would have been increasing. 